Hey guys, Jason here, and in this video we are going to talk about the top five reasons not to use Udemy. So this is actually the second video. I did a video earlier that talked about the top five reasons to use Udemy, and then I'll include a link to that video at, in the description and at the end of this as well. So this is pretty much going to be all negative. We already did the positive in the first video, so let's dive in. Top five reasons not to use Udemy. Reason number one piracy and theft. And this has actually become such a big issue that you, as you can see from the screenshot here, I took directly from the Udemy support website, what to do when you find out your course has been stolen or, you know, pirated. Now this is, uh, there's, there's kind of two sides to this and one side they fix the other, they don't. <laughs> so the one side is there are a lot of people, especially like you can go on Fiverr and pretty much get any Udemy course you want for five bucks because they figured out how to pretty much go into Udemy system and grab the videos. So that's kind of number one that um, isn't all that great. And really being on Udemy, putting that course on Udemy pretty much makes your course much more of a target for being pirated than if it was just on your personal website because it's easier for people who steal courses to learn how to do it once with Udemy and then they can actually turn it into a service or they just figured it out and they just download them for themselves. So that's that's the first part. That's kind of the, the piracy part of it. The theft part of it, and I actually just read about someone this, this happened to the other day where people will buy your course, go through your course, pretty much copy everything and then go and make their own course that's uh, almost an exact duplicate of your course. And to be frank, Udemy will do nothing about it. In fact, I wanted to show a screenshot of the, the Facebook post of this guy who said, hey, these people did that. They even asked him, they even asked for a refund. They didn't even pay the, you know, the, the $30 the course was. The, the guys literally just copied, pretty much just copied and pasted his course. And um, Udemy, Udemy uh, took took that post down, so unfortunately I can't see it, and that's actually going to tie into number three here in a little bit. So number four is the mercy of reviewers. Um, I wasn't quite sure what to put on the slide, so I decided that I would just take the most ridiculous out of the box review I've ever gotten for all of my courses and just put it here. And this this one says, "Great ads, another way of selling their products. Not bad. One star." Like I, uh, okay, so obviously he didn't like the course or he thought I was selling something. Now this particular course was free um, and this was posted within 10 hours of the course being up. The guy went through 30% of the course. There's not a single link to any sort of landing page or any sort of, hey, go do this or go do that. Like there's no outside references in this course at all and yet this guy still thinks it's an ad. And this is not the first time I've had something like this. Um, this is definitely the worst, but there's 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 a lot of there's a lot of uh, reviewers that you'll get that will pretty much give you things out of left field like this one. And there's nothing, absolutely nothing you can do about it. There's no way to comment, respond, go to Udemy and say, hey, uh, I think this person's just trolling on me. I mean, even YouTube, uh, I have the power to delete comments that are that are just vulgar or ridiculous, but there's there's no way for you to respond to comments, and of course you always run the risk of trying to reach out to that person and say, hey, uh, I'd like to help you because I slaved hours to make this course and you just are pretty much destroying my chances of anybody else taking it because reviews are really really heavy when it comes to what Udemy recommends for other people. So now you're gonna have to try and either go you know do the shady thing and and buy reviews, which, you know, that's that that's up to you whether or not you buy reviews to, to fix something like this. Uh, but I mean, even on Amazon, you get a terrible comment on your Kindle book, you can reply to that, you can respond, you can say, I'm sorry, you can apologize, you can point them to someplace else, but at least um, Amazon gives you a way to to respond to ridiculous comments like this. So that's, that's reason number four. Reason number three, uh, that Udemy is terrible um, is the silencing of naysayers, and this is this is kind of this ties back into number five where I said I couldn't find that post uh, of the guy who said his course had been stolen because pretty much Udemy doesn't want anything that makes them look negative 
and they don't want to have any discussions that would cause them to change their policy. And I'm going to use this as an example. Uh, this is probably about a year and a half ago now where they changed their pretty much they changed the way that uh, courses courses um, instructors got paid because they changed the way the affiliate commissions worked. Long story short, there were a couple of people who said, hey, your math doesn't make sense. And it really didn't. Um, they they gave you more money if you sent people directly, but they gave you less money if they were the ones to bring people. But now the course, the entire platform is set up where the only way you can get your 97% commission, 3% uh, processing fees, um, which is actually reasonable. You'd get that if you use something like Stripe or you know PayPal or whatever. Um, actually, you'd get two and a half percent. So I guess it's a half percent higher. But anyway, um, now unless you bring a completely new user to the platform and and they buy your course, you're pretty much probably going to get 50 percent. And then after that, you're only going to get 50 percent once you drive them back to your course. So and that's because. They only give you your big commission when you've driven a new person to their platform. So you pay to drive a new person, you get paid once, and then if that person buys other courses, you don't get anything. And that's that's something that quite a lot of people were upset about. And instead of engaging and talking with instructors who were actually making money uh, doing Udemy, so they, they saw their revenues drop, most people they looked at it and went, oh, okay, well, I hardly make money on Udemy anyway, which is 80% of the 80 of the people, 80-20 rule, right? Only 20% of the people are making 80% of the profit. So that 20% got a little upset, and Udemy pretty much just slammed across the board, uh, did not allow a discussion at all. And I'll leave a link to this article below uh, in, the, in the description that will talk a little bit more about kind of what happened in this particular guy's experience trying to engage and talk with Udemy and pretty much just getting blocked. All right, so number two, uh, we're getting down to, to the, the biggest reason here. The prospects that you get for your business, uh, from my personal experience, are terrible. And they're terrible because Udemy loves sales. They love coupons and they love sales. So the types of prospects that they're driving to their platform are people who are looking for a good deal. So they want the high quality information. They want you to spend hours upon hours or months upon months putting together that great course. And then even though it's worth maybe 97 or $200, those same people only want to pay 10 bucks. Excuse me. I one of the one of my test courses that I did, it's a $97 product. I can sell it on my website for $300, and yes, people do buy it for $300, and they're happy with it. But in the context of Udemy, it's only worth 10 bucks. That's $290 less, and people are still upset with the quality, or and still upset with how it is. So, my person, this is again, this is my personal experience. The prospects that you get exposure to um, aren't all that high quality and they're not willing to to pay what you're worth I mean obviously uh, if you're okay giving 75% off to get students that's or students or exposure that's great but you're always going to be discounting your stuff 75% and no you can't just up the price 75% and then have it uh, have it showing at like let's say it's a hundred dollar course and you you put the list price at price it uh, 300 so that Udemy's discount gives the discount price of $100. You're still not going to get anybody because most of the people only want to pay 15, 10 to to $20. And that kind of leads into the biggest problem that I have with Udemy and that's no list building capabilities. And this kind of goes into what I like to talk about a lot with with platforms. You have your platform, you have Plat social media platforms that you use, you have traffic platforms that you use. You have to remember that each person has their own platform. Udemy is a platform. So their goal is to bring as many students as they can into Udemy, 8 million and counting, and keep them there. They're, they do not want you to grow your own business. You are allowed to grow your courses as long as you are talking to Udemy's list and you're using Udemy's rule. 
So really, and this is, they are cracking each year. This gets harder and harder and harder. Uh, I'm just lucky that some of my older courses got in before they got really, really, um, really, really anal about this. And I know that some of my older courses, the free ones that I have out there, that I pretty much have there just to, just, just to, uh, to bring prospects in. And I can tell you the prospects have been terrible. I mean, it's, it's, it's been kind of a, a wash, but I'm, I'm getting off topic here. So no list building, you're stuck on the platform. You can't promote to your free courses at all. Like they, the only thing you can do with those free course people is give them more free stuff. And you can't even give them more free Udemy courses. If you go and try, if you make a new Udemy course and you say, hey guys, I made a new course, go check it out. Udemy will not allow you to link to that new course because it counts as a promotion. Now, yes, you can link to your blog posts and um, you can sometimes, I don't, I don't know if they even let you do YouTube videos anymore, but it's pretty much strictly educational and they will slam you really hard if you ever try to get someone's personal information. And I included here the detailed guidelines for instructors, 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 inst instructors. You may not include any external links or references to external links in your promotional announcements. This includes, but not limited to links to YouTube, other course plat platforms, and any pages that ask for money or personal information on your own website. Well, if you're not gonna ask for money, and you're not gonna ask for personal information to build your list, I, I, I'm not quite sure what the point of or purpose of your traffic is because most so, sometimes you'd say, okay, well, you know, drive them to the blog post and then you kind of build to build a relationship with them. Well, you've already done the relationship building. You've already given them the upfront value in the course. The next step in any logical sales funnel is to ask them for their information saying, hey, I've given you a bunch of free stuff. If you liked it, I think you should sign up for my list so I can send you more free stuff and then every once in a while ask you for money because I still need to eat at the end of the day. I don't just sit here giving you free stuff all the time uh, for kicks. If if that's you, you just wanna give away everything that's in your head for free, then you know, Udemy is probably a great place for you. So those are my top five reasons that you should not use Udemy. Again, I will leave a link at the end of this video to the top five reasons you should use Udemy, as well as a video where I kind of combine the two and break down what Udemy is really good for and what Udemy is really not good for. But I just wanted to do two separate videos kind of being all positive, all negative, and then the third video kind of combines the two with my personal opinion on what Udemy is good for and what it's not for. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it and got some good information out of it, go ahead and hit that like button and I'll see you in the next video.